It's your boy Johnny Shreve, IFBB Pro and Mr. Tell It Like It Is. Today I'm not really telling anybody like it is. We're just gonna go over another hinge movement that some people requested since my last video we did deadlifts, sumo and conventional. Today we're gonna go over the trap bar or hex bar deadlifts. Okay guys, so doing the trap bar hex bar deadlift is a really, really good substitute if you're feeling like you wanna change up from doing your conventionals or your sumos. So the biggest difference between this lift and the other deadlifts is instead of the weight being dispersed and brought in the middle when you're pulling it up from a sumo or conventional, the weight now is being dispersed equally on both sides, almost unilaterally. So you're gonna be holding the weight on both sides where the middle of your body will absorb the load instead of you having to have it either in the front necessarily when we're talking conventional or even sitting more directly inside in the middle when we're talking sumo. So for this, you're gonna get the benefits of being able to hinge like a deadlift, like a conventional deadlift, but be able to have the benefits of using a lot more glute and hamstrings to get this weight up. So for some of you guys who are gonna do this for maybe for the first time or those who've done it before, there's a kind of a little bit of a trickiness when it comes to this. It's finding your place and balance and being completely centered when we're doing the lift. So basically stepping in, you're going to have to grab the weight from the side, remember hinging back, same rules as when we did our conventional and our sumos and even our squats. We're going to make sure we externally rotate the hips to keep that load into our glutes. We're gonna hinge ourselves back to grab the bar like we're doing a deadlift. Once we grab the weight from the side here, that's where we have to really find ourselves in our center. So from here, we have a little bit of a tip or cue called the proper shin angle. To make sure we're basically aligned, we wanna make sure our toe and our knee and our chin come somewhat over each other. That's gonna give you a little more balance. So from the side, you can see when I hinge down, toe, knee, chin. Now from here, engaging my lats again, keeping straight up here with a neutral spine, not trying to wrench your neck up like this and not tucking down either this way, but being neutral, looking straight forward. From there, engaging our glutes, tight lats, tight core, hinging and standing straight up. And then back down the same way we came back up, hinging back down, chest staying up, lats engaged, and back down. Remember, when we're talking how far should our feet be, well, think of the same thing when we're doing our conventional deadlifts. You can do the same trick again by just jumping in the air, and wherever you land, that's naturally where you hinge. Just walk into the hex bar, get yourself steady, externally rotate our hips so our knees are aligned with our toes, hinging back. Now, when I hinge, don't hinge into your heels and have your toes rolling up. When you're hinging, make sure you're gripping still with your toes. Your feet, if you're doing this bare feet, which would be like the best case scenario, we want to have our entire foot engaged in this whole lift. You don't want to be balancing on your heel or rocking onto your toes. Once we are hinging, externally rotating the hips, hinging back, when you're hinging, feel your toes gripping. And then feel your heels engaged and feel our glutes getting tighter and tighter while we grab the bar both sides, finding our center. From here, again, engaging our lats, pulling them down, chest up, neutral spine. From there, we're gonna press right up, breath in, tight core, tss, up, and down. Okay guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just go over some cues again before we close it off. Remember guys, this is like a little bit more of like a conventional and a squat put together based on just how you're structured, how your feet are, your stance and whatnot. Plus, you're gonna get a little more of a squat motion from having the weight dispersed on both sides of your body. So guys, remember, when you're holding the bar, make sure your arms are like ropes. Don't try and pick the bar up or use your traps to pull up. I know it's a trap bar, doesn't mean you gotta shrug the whole thing up, right? 
from the bottom, externally rotate from hips. Make sure your knees line with your toes. When you're hinging back, glutes can be engaged. Engage your core. Remember guys, long arms. Let those lats get engaged so we can have a nice strong brace. From there, deep breath in, tight, neutral spine. Push from the ground, explode up, boom. There you got it. And then back down the same way you came up. Thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. For more videos coming up, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button. So next time I have a video come out, you're the first ones to get it. And for coaching, hardcore.training02 at gmail.com. And remember, use my code Johnny20 for 20% off at imutant.com. That sounds like a daggone commercial. Shoot. Anyway, see you next time, guys. Keep June chasing. Peace.